Hello everyone, my name is Chris and today I'm gonna show you how to make and paint rusty road barriers for your carefully painted cars to crash into. Enjoy! Here is a list of materials I've used for this project. Corrugated card, I think about a pack of 10 for a quid. Cardstock, you could even use a cereal box for that. Some bases, strip of wood easily replaced with a coffee stirrer. Nail art gems, also called rhinestones, we will use these for rivets. I started by reinforcing the otherwise flimsy corrugated card by gluing it onto the cardstock with a glue stick. Then I chopped that wooden strip down to 21 cm because that was the width of my card, then some at 13.5 cm and then 7.5 cm for the shortest one. You'll see why in a second. Let's make some edge beams out of popsicle stick and coffee stirrers. I actually forgot to list those at the beginning of this episode. I cut them down to 1.5 cm, cleaned the edges with sandpaper and glued them together with super glue. Or if you prefer you could simply buy plastic ones from model train shop. Next I glued those onto the bases and added a rivet in each of the four corners. My camera doesn't handle shiny objects very well. Those gems are self-adhesive but to prevent them from falling off I added a layer of thin super glue. The bond is rock solid now. I made three marks on the longest strip at 3.5, 10.5 and 17.5 cm and copied that on medium and short stick to ensure we get even spacing of edge beams when we glue them together later on. I cut my barriers three corrugations wide with a pair of sharp scissors. I use super glue to attach those to the wooden strip, making sure to leave the marked side exposed. Now, for the most tedious part, attaching the beams. Don't worry if you accidentally glue yourself to a barrier like I did, we can fix that later in the painting process. Once you finish your first one it helps to keep it nearby to use as reference to make sure all the barriers are glued to the same height. Next up, I spray painted the barriers with espresso and dusted them with terracotta. They already look quite smart just after the spray paint. I added few stipples of typhus corrosion to each one of them, followed by a few random splatters of heavily thinned down bone sienna. Then I dry brushed them with a bright orange, Citadel's riser roost in this case.
just to add some visual interest, I lightly dry brush gun metal in few random spots. I've made a simple wash out of dark brown paint, black ink, water, and few drops of flow improver and washed all the barriers. This is how they turn out once dry. Magnificent, right? And the best part is they only took me 3 hours to make and paint all of them and that is including drying time. Boom! I've magicked your a little buggy to really give you a sense of scale. But Chris, how do they look on the table with more terrain and cars you ask? Well that's a good question, let me answer that with a couple of pictures. And that will be everything for today's video, thank you very much for joining me in the wasteland, I'll catch you next time.